Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to a day two, uh, Tuesday, the 31st of August at Learn at Home Oregon. So thank you for your patience. First of all, we had some tech issues yesterday, but everyone was so amazing um, and so patient. So I just wanted to say thank you. Um, so typically this is a morning message. Um, I'll be giving you, this is what I'll kind of give you some important information about our week and let you know what's going on. Um, so I usually do a read aloud, but this time I wanted to make sure everyone is kind of understanding the schedule and some, just some basic housekeeping things. So um, this is a second grade student guide. Um, also, the, like the schedule, really, this is um, kind of just a guideline. You, you can structure your day however you um, see fit. It's, um, you know, really what you want to pay attention to are these um, this times in blue, because those indicate when we're going to have our live video class. So that's when you want to log on. The first one is morning meeting at 830. And that's really just a, um, a time to um, greet everyone, um, talk about, um, you know, some basic housekeeping things and just to kind of do a quick feelings check in. It's also where we spend a lot of time on our social emotional curriculum. So that's at 830. Um, back to back um, is FOOS uh, at nine. Um, and that is just focus on our success. Um, so that's a time and I will be logging off. I know they're back to back, but I'll kind of be logging off and then logging back in at this time, just so um, the video recording doesn't go to, to an hour. So they're separate, but focus on our success or FOOS as you'll hear us uh, call it is just a great way to support students um, in you know, different subjects, answer questions, so come with any you know, academic questions, um, any, you know, any questions you have, um, anything you're working on um, with, you know, you'll need your learning log always and something to write with. Again, there was some confusion about learning logs. Really all your learning log is, is a notebook. Um, so if you have your notebook, you have a learning log. Um, I recommend maybe one for math and one for reading, just to keep it separate. And then you're, because then you're kind of documenting all the words that um, and uh, things that we talk about in reading and all, all the different things that we're doing in math. And you'll have a um, a great organized notebook on that. Um, so we'll also probably go over some of that in foos. Um, we also sometimes play games. Uh, we have questions um, about. Um, so there's a lot of questions about the SLUs. Oops, I didn't mean to move that. Um, so the SLUs are not going to be, um, they are locked right now. They will be open after the first two weeks because um, we really just want to focus on um, on the students, getting to know students, building our classroom culture. Um, so I'll talk more about that in a second. Again, this is this time in white. This is your break. Um, so that's, that's all up to you. Um, then you'll join us again at 945 for skill building, and that will be first, we will do math. And again, don't forget your notebook, aka a learning log, then this will be your time here in white. Um, these are um, more of, you know, suggestions, just some really fun enrichment activities. Um, I've included, you know, making 10, um, just with some basic, uh, you know, establishing some basic number sense. Um, there's a bump game and then there's your math journal that you can kind of work on on your own again with your learning log your notebook um, so those are all included in links um, and i did make it so you can kind of check these off if you want to print this out um, you know and, and students can kind of go through and check off where they're at during their day um, i found that's really helpful um, then at 11 15 we have another skill building but this time it is a focus on literacy uh, reading and language arts and again you'll you need your learning log after that we have um, another independent learning choice time um, and that's completely up to you you know whether you want to check out epic or prodigy um, those are some some great en enrichment activities um, and do some reading then again, this time in blue, we are all meeting together. It says small group, but really we're all meeting together for the first two weeks. And then we will, then we'll be dividing up into three groups. But for first two weeks, you don't have to worry about it. It's all together. And this small group time is really a great time to kind of uh, go over some of the core curriculum and reading and math and really zero in on that and, and help students um, really making sure their needs are being met with those subjects. Um, and then, of course, the time in white is up to you. That is 
that's all your time. So I hope that helps. I know the, sorry if the schedule is confusing, but yeah, the times that you need to log on are all here in blue. And I'm, I'm gonna be also working on a, a, a newsletter too that I'll attach um, to that. So I hope that that makes sense. Again, um, one thing you will need um, eventually after you know, the first two weeks to access your SLUs, really to access you know, anything, uh, even our landing page, you'll need this login. So make sure you have an email from Aaron Wills that looks like this. Um, and if you don't reach out to me and I will get that to you because this has all your important login information, um, the platform login, it's got your username and your password. You even have a student email here and then the password that and to that as well. So watch for this email. If you don't get it, let me know and I will um, get that to you. So very important, um, Aaron Wills sent this out and this again, so the platform login right here, I'll go to what that looks like. So once you do click on that, it, it should take you to um, a kind of a, you, you're basically, it'll take you to your student home grade two. And on that you'll have, um, again, in the future, this is where you will access your SLUs, but not yet, okay? So we're not, um, we're not gonna focus on those until, um, you know, after the first two weeks of kind of that relationship piece getting to know you, um, but it will take you to the landing page. And this is really, really important because it's got things like your Prodigy class code and your Epic class code is right here. Um, it's got a link to our video classroom. And it's also got some hidden links you might wanna explore. Um, you can start here, it's got an audio. So check those out. Um, but more importantly, you know, this is your school supplies, the, the student schedule, the whole school calendar, um, one, two, three, learn, the morning message, which you probably clicked on to get here. And of course the welcome back. And then um, this, in the future, this will be the times for the student learning, learning groups, but right now it is just, um, it is just one group for now. Most importantly, I guess for the first two weeks are Kamochis. And I saw a lot of kids had already gotten these printed out. If you can, it's, they're a great, really, really, really great social emotional curriculum. And we'll, we're gonna be talking more about them. Um, just, you know, how different feelings, and lots of different mixed emotions on the first day of school. We'll be talking about this guy where he's like, oh, I'm a little bit uncomfortable. And we'll be talking about this guy, you know, who's really, really hopeful. Um, and so just kind of putting a name to some different, lots of different emotions that we're feeling. Um, there's even a make your own feeling card. Um, should be able to print this out and then we'll get to the gratitude web, um, which is really just thinking about things that you're thankful for. But I would say for the first two weeks, um, you know, definitely get your kamochis printed out. Um, I'll be sending you, um, if there's anything specific um, to that week, I'll get that to you. Uh, I'll get that out the week before, and I hope that has answered some of your questions. Again, just please, please reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the other thing, one one last thing, uh, Whiteboard FI, I did send out a, a video, uh, just, a, just an informational tutorial on kind of what, what's the basis, what's the background on Whiteboard FI, and it'll show you all the cool things that we can do. But again, we're going to be learning about that as a class together in the next two weeks um, and just really getting familiar with it. Um, and I think it'll really enrich our, our educational environment, our virtual environment. So we will be we will be um, investigating that as well. But yeah, I did include a link to the video and you guys can watch it. There's some really awesome things you can do. This is an example of a student whiteboard. So I will be able to see your work and nobody else. It's really just like an in-class um, uh, whiteboard. So it's pretty exciting. It's, there's a lot of fun features on here we'll be using. Um, so I hope this helps. Message me if you have any, don't be afraid to message me if you have any questions at all. Have a great day, guys. See you soon.